Hey there, I'm excited to introduce you to Flowdesk today, a super simple platform to help you create gorgeous, high converting email campaigns. I've recently switched my business over to Flowdesk and I have loved it. Today, we're going to dive in and I'm going to show you how to edit this template to match your brand. It's really easy to get started. All you have to do is hover over blocks here and get the lay of the land. When you're ready, just click on a block to start editing. Some really cool things to mention. You can undo anything. It's easy to play around in the platform and experiment with different layouts, colors, and fonts while you're transforming a template to match your brand. Oh, and everything is auto-saved, so you don't have to worry about that as you're transforming your template. To get started, we're going to add my logo. You click the logo block up here to change it. Select your logo file and make sure to add your website URL so that it hyperlinks to your site. Important little thing to remember. Also change your header test text to match your brand. This is the first thing I really like to do as I dive in. I go ahead and I change the color. I have hex codes in a cheat sheet in my Apple notes, so it's really easy. You can just copy and paste them right into the custom hex code area. And that way everything coordinates and everything matches. You can then change the font to match your brand. If you don't see your brand's exact font in the drop down menu, try choosing something really similar. There are so many options to choose from that it's fun to get in there and play until you get as close to your brand as possible. You can also get in here and play with the different settings in the text editor, including the letter spacing line, height, and font weight. Okay, let's upload some images. Click on the blank gray boxes to upload images on the right hand settings side. You can zoom in and crop your image or add an overlay. Flowdesk has lots of other layouts for you to choose from in the builder too. Seriously, lots of options. I wasn't kidding. A quick hack to make all of your sub headlines match. This is something I learned really early on that I want to share. Instead of editing your text over and over and over again to make it match your brand, all you have to do is style a subheader once to your liking, duplicate it, and then drag and drop it to where the next subheader is going to live. That way you don't have to edit each one individually. Honestly, duplicating is super simple in Flowdesk, whether you duplicate text so that you keep replicating what matches your brand or even emails. It makes it super simple to templatize things and that gets you moving more quickly as you create content. Now let's go ahead and style the CTA button. This is an easy way to get your emails matching your brand in a second. I recommend first going to your website and looking at the style of the buttons that you have there. Pay attention to a couple key questions here. What color is it? Is it a solid fill? Do you have a border outlined? Do you use all caps on your buttons or lowercase? Is the font that you're using on these buttons a serif or a sans serif font? Just take notice of those things and then head back into the platform and you can truly customize your buttons to match your brand. You can play with the shape, the color, and the font options until your button matches perfectly. Oh, and don't forget to link it. I've made that mistake before. You want to go in here and add the hyperlink to your button. One of my favorite things about these templates and about Flowdesk in general is how easy it makes it to add a signature at the bottom of your email. I think it's such a personal touch that makes email marketing feel that much more human. If you haven't already, you can also go ahead and connect your Instagram feed by clicking on the Instagram area and following the instructions to connect. This is a great hack to have a continuous stream of beautiful content in your emails with no added work. It's also a great opportunity to introduce your Instagram feed to your audience and perhaps convince them to head over to your account, like, and follow if they haven't already. Also, speaking of social media, be sure to connect your footer social media icons to the proper links and style them so that they fit your brand as well. All right. 
Once you're done, you can preview the email that you've created on different devices by clicking the top right button here. You can look at your email on desktop and then you can switch to mobile. Make sure that it looks exactly as you want it to. And when you're ready, you can also send a test email to yourself to make sure that your email is precisely how you want it. I do this every single time before I send or schedule an email blast and always, always, always do this. That way you can double check all of your links and make sure that everything is connected properly. So sending that test email is an awesome way to ensure consistency when you're email marketing. Okay. Once you've made sure that your links are connected in that test email and it looks exactly the way you want, you can go ahead. You're ready to hit send and send your email to your audience and you're done. It's really that easy to create a gorgeous email in minutes that matches your brand and will convert your audience. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you check out Flowdesk for yourself.